¿dónde queda mi hábito? Como lo menciona el libro de las personas altamente efectivas, ¿debe implementarse de primero o de último? ¿Cómo va? ¿En qué posición puedo encaminarme? Um, we talked about um, preparation to, to, be, to be prepared to be a leader. You talked about these six practices and then the four roles, but uh, we also have the habits of highly effective people, which would be the order to apply them or how to apply this? Oh, well, that's a lovely and good question. I think the seven habits of highly effective people is just a really good foundation for anyone. So I would definitely say, see that as a starting point. Again, I work with that for individual contributors all the way up to the executives. So it's really seven habits that you can apply in life. So simply thinking, okay, how can I be proactive? Uh, what about the end in mind? So, so really think about, I'm going to go in and have an important meeting. What's my end in mind? But also think about what's the end in mind in my life? What is it that I want to achieve? Then we have put first things first, which is really around the time management. We have think win-win, which is all around the attitude in our relationship. Seek first to understand, then being understood, and then create synergies and finally sharpen the saw. So I think that to me is a life framework that we can use in all areas of our life to be more effective. The six critical practices is the perfect start if you have not had formal leadership skills. Now, when we wrote the book, we had the intention of thinking of first level leaders. What we've noticed then is that we work with all the way up to executives because It's like getting that basic practice, like Tiger Woods or, or any sportsman will know, even if they are very good at their skill, they will continue to practice that basic golf swing. And that's exactly what we do in these six critical practices. We work on how do I give that feedback in that challenging situation? And then the four essential rules are a little bit more taking the step back and looking at it from a more strategic perspective. So I, I have those other tools, those frameworks. How do I now bring this into my organization? Es, me parece una pregunta excelente y muy linda. Y yo diría que los siete hábitos son una base para todos, para cualquier persona, no solo en su trabajo, sino en su vida y son un punto de inicio. Eh, como les decía, yo trabajo desde, eh, con individuos eh, en, su, en su trabajo diario hasta con altos ejecutivos y eh, siempre hablamos de que es importante tener esta base. Enseguida, hab hablando de los, eh, podemos hablar de por ejemplo, hacer las, primero las primeras, lo, lo más importante, entender antes de ser entendido, crear sinergias. En, en resumen, es algo que podemos hacer parte de nuestra vida, tanto dentro de ella como en reuniones formales o en el trabajo. La otra parte son las seis prácticas críticas que primero desarrollamos toman, pensando en los líderes de primer nivel, pero que hemos visto que se, es algo que se aplica hasta los altos niveles de gerencia, porque al igual que los grandes expertos o grandes jugadores como Tiger, Tiger Woods, por ejemplo, él ya ha llegado a, cierto, a un nivel de maestría muy alto, pero sigue practicando sus habilidades continuamente para siempre estar perfeccionando. Y después vienen las, eh, las cuatro reglas que mencionamos.